Hello and welcome to this video by ComputerGaga.com. In this video, we are going to look at how to write a formula to return the top 10 values from a list. So I would like in column E here the top 10 values. And they're going to come from column B, where I have 19 uh, kind of names and totals. Coming down to row 20 here, so 19 of them. And I just want the top 10. Now, before we start, it's important to mention that the values in column B are in a named range of cells. And the values in column A are in a named range of company name. So they've both been named. Now, in column E, let me zoom in a little bit so we can see what I'm typing a bit easier. And let me highlight the 10 cells that I would like these values to be applied in. So coming down to row 11 here, so that must be 10 different cells right there. And I want the values, the top 10, to appear within them. So let me click in the formula bar, and we are going to type an array formula. And it's going to be using the large function. So for those of you who may not be familiar with this function, this will return a specific cape value. So either the second largest or the fifth largest, that kind of behavior. Now I want all 10 of them, you know, first, second, third, fourth, largest, etc. So in this large function, I'm going to reference my named range of cells. And then for the cape value, in some curly braces, I'm going to enter all 10. So each one there separated by a semicolon and wrapped inside those curly braces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Each of those values I want returned in the cells that I have highlighted. I'll put a close bracket, and then I'm going to run it by pressing Control, Shift, and Enter. Not just Enter, must be Control, Shift, and Enter, because this is an array formula. They're sometimes known as CSE formulas because of that Control, Shift, Enter, Finish. So let me do that, control shift enter, and there are the top 10 values in each of those cells, that one formula returning them, that array formula. Now to take this a step further, you may have noticed I've named column D as uh, name, and I mentioned that column A is in a named range of company name. So you probably knew this was coming. Not only do I want the top 10 values, which is really what this is a video is about in one formula, I now want to get the name associated with that. So I want to put in a quick index match. Uh, those of you watching this, if you don't know index match, you want to check that out straight after this video. Because this is arguably the best lookup formula around this combination. And because I'm looking for a value in column B and returning from A, you know, the likes of VLOOKUP is not sufficient because I'm looking to the left of where of the column I'm looking in. So the array, which is where I'm returning from, that's going to be that named range of company name. You see it highlight column A there. And the row number, that's what match is going to do for me. The lookup value is E2. So that's the, the best value in this scenario. The lookup array is the sales named range, and it's a precise match. So going through that quickly, because that's not really what the video is about, but just a quick recap, match function will return the row of that value in that range of sales. Company name, you know, index uses company name to then return the name. So if I press enter and copy that down, I now have the name associated with each of those values. See, 932 in third position, Christina Berglund. And that is how we can create a top 10 list uh, just by using formulas. Thank you for watching. Hope you find that video useful. Come and check out some of our other videos on our YouTube channel and come see us at computergaga.com.